this computer I got from Amazon, uh, about 160 bucks or something. Uh, here's an analogy for how slow it is. If you just hold with your fingers the edges of the box and wait for it to just slowly come out, it's a good analogy for how slow this thing is. This is the best way to open the box. It's a slow computer and I'm taking it back. I turned this little guy on and uh, I've been sitting here for about five minutes now just waiting for the computer to turn on. It was a bad experience. You go to use the computer and then they shove these updates down your throat. Like, Here we want uh, you to run this new code that we wrote. We're not going to tell you what it does but we want your computer to run it and you can't use your computer until we give you the new updates. Just a really shitty computer, uh, user experience. And here it is. It's the uh, Minix Neo Z83-4. Um, it's a fanless computer, so it runs really quiet. I knew it was going to be slow, but I didn't think it would be that slow. Um, $179. Um, compare that to the price of a Raspberry Pi. What are the, they're supposed to be the Pi Zero wireless one, the new one. It's supposed to be five dollars, but by the time you get it, it's like fifteen. But still, I mean, really, fifteen? Fifteen dollars for a little computer? I mean, that's basically, uh, it'll be taking a similar workload. It's like a workload that doesn't even matter, like the speed doesn't matter just as long as it gets done, right? So, um, something like this is just way overkill. And Windows 10 is just so inefficient in my experience. Like, requires a lot of CPU and a lot of memory. So, um, yeah, I don't think this is really a bargain, even though it was supposed to be a full out-of-the-box computer, which is cool, don't get me wrong. I've never really in my life gotten a computer and just plugged it in and it just works. Uh, like Windows 10 was already installed and you just had to enter your name and connect your Wi-Fi and you were on the Windows desktop. So, th I mean, that aspect of it was really cool. So anyways, I'm returning this thing. It's just too slow. The Minix has only got 32 megabytes of RAM. It's just not enough for this Windows 10. It can't handle Windows 10. You can't handle Windows 10! I haven't really seen anyone run Linux on this either. Might be possible. But you have to find the drivers. It's definitely not the same experience as just plugging it in, turning it on. And it's supposed to boot right up. But then you've got the whole Windows 10 thing. It's got 4 gigs of RAM and 32 gigabyte storage. It just can't handle the size of Windows 10. The updates alone take up a ton of space. Uh, if you guys want to find out more about this, um, I left a link to the product. Um, I wrote it down on an empty envelope, used envelope. Um, and I threw it away in the trash. Um, I was behind Safeway. Um, so anyways, if you want to find out more about that, just find that envelope and check it out.